At this hour, our democracy is under an unprecedented assault, unlike anything we've seen in modern times. An assault on the citadel of liberty. By standing and recommending that you should be deployed to, quote, dominate your fellow citizens for exercising their right to peacefully protest and threatening if governors didn't do something, the president would. The left has been using psychological warfare against us this entire time. And I'm going to cover kind of the surface level of what's been going on. But it's really important for everybody to understand this because this has a lot to do with why what happened at the rally in D.C. happened. So, of course, the media and the left is going to say, oh, my God, this is the most terrible thing in the world. And in reality, yeah, I mean, what happened at the Capitol was not good, but they're in no position to talk because the destruction and what happened from the left during BLM riots, Antifa, all that stuff, it's not even close. But of course, now they're saying, oh my God, we gotta stop this and all this stuff. That's fine. But what they don't understand is they lose their credibility when they condemn an action, but they won't condemn it for a different group, which is exactly what they're doing right now. But I truly believe that the riot in DC was started by Antifa. And I think some patriots just didn't know what was going on and didn't know they were Antifa, so they just followed them in. But in reality, we don't do that. We love America and we're not gonna use intimidation, force, any of that stuff to make a point. We'll do it with logic. We'll do it by not breaking. We'll do it by making sure our beliefs are stronger than ever, even when we're met with this stuff. But the left has been using psychological warfare this whole time. They've been putting memes out there. They've been making posts that incite violence that look like a patriot posted them. And now they're making fake patriot armed rally posters to make what happened in DC happen again. And the reason why the left is trying to make these fake riots and get you to be fooled by it and show up with your gun is because they need a reason to take away our guns. Think about it, I just covered this in a video, but pistol grip rifles, semi-automatic, they're on the very bottom of the total pole in terms of total deaths that they cause in a year. So they don't have that much ammo in terms of taking them away. But if they can get all the patriots to go to these armed rallies and start it off again like Antifa did the last one, there will be a reason why that they can sell to whoever is gonna pass the law to take away those guns. Psychological warfare. They're messing with your head. And if you participated in going into the Capitol and smashing windows and all that crap, you fell right into it. So let's say none of these rallies are fake and they're real. If you go and you see somebody running into a building destroying stuff, you walk the other way. Because all they're gonna do is they're gonna pin it on you, they're gonna arrest you, and then your kids and your wife are gonna be at home without you. We do not start stuff. That's BLM, Antifa, that's the left's move. For Antifa, first of all, I hit myself harder with my garage door in the face than you could ever hit me in the face. So let's get that one out of the way. We have figured you out. It took us a second for sure. We know what you're doing, we know your tactics, we know that you're using psychological warfare against us, and we have intelligence to prove it. But we will not stoop down to your level and be fooled into destroying America because we love it and we have pride in it. So for all the patriots out there who are pissed off, who are angry, all of that, I get it. Have faith in Trump. If Trump is going to do something, he's going to do it. He doesn't care if he has 80 million supporters or one supporter. That's just who he is. And the chopper load them up, sun down here. Got one option when it's tough. Cowboy up, jack trucks, big bucks. Yeah, we cooking up. Duh.